Ahmed B police and FBI upon him. FBI, open up! <laughs> In this video, we'll talk about how an American woman was tricked into Islam for marriage. Welcome back to Somali Christian TV, ex-Muslims. I'm Shania, and this is my husband Shino and our lovely daughter. Naomi is here. Yes, let us now deep dive into our show. So many, many Muslim men all over the world have been tricking American and Western women into marriage. This particular instance is from a very popular TV show, a reality TV show called 90 Day Fiance, the other way around, about a lady called Nicole from America who married an Egyptian man called Mahmoud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was tricked into Islam. He gave her this false sense of what Islam was, this peaceful religion, this whatever, loving religion. Yeah. You can wear what you want, you can be who you want, just be Muslim and you can marry me yeah. if you become Muslim. So yeah. she did. Yeah. As soon as she became Muslim, he changed his face. Yes. He wow. forced her to wear the hijab. He told her what to do, where to go, what kind of woman to be, because of course now she's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. yeah. She has to follow these rules. And this is just a common story that we've heard play out all over Europe, all over America. Yeah. Yeah. And it's happening on TV. Well, it was happening over TV in the springtime. And it's, yeah, this is what everybody's talking about. Yes. Uh, this is the way that Muslims are, you know, tricking women, Western yes. women, yeah. Mm. And uh, they have to lie in the beginning. And uh, lying at that moment is principle for the Muslims because they are winning a soul to Islam. Yeah. So that's the way. And uh, when you are in there, when you are, you know, trapped into there, you will be, you know, trapped in there. Already. Exactly. You, there is no way out. Hmm. And it's just the way that she was also feeling during this program. Yeah. She's very into fashion. She wasn't allowed to wear what she wanted to wear. This hijab, or the hijab, as she yeah. calls it. She calls it hijab. Yeah. hijab. <laughs> She's this blonde girl with blue eyes, you know. She, yeah. she wasn't allowed to show her hair or anything. She was having a crisis within her faith in Islam and she felt like she couldn't tell Mahmoud, mm -hmm. right? What will happen if she tells? Exactly. She might lose her life. Yes, but, but she, she wasn't said. thinking that. Mm -hmm. What she said was, if she tell her husband she's doubting her religion, she might lose her marriage. Yeah. But not only that, she might also lose her, her life, you know? That's what, in, what will happen to anyone who leaves Islam. That's what Mohammed said, anyone who left the religion. Accident, exactly. all of them. So, and it just, she just reminds me, you know, there is a, in, I don't know if it's in Hadith or not, but it's a, a, a story, yeah. a story, maybe a Sira of the Prophet, they say. And I used to hear when I was young, and everyone is even now saying, even those uh, famous TV program leader in Egypt, yes. he was talking about how is the, the best way to trick someone to Islam, yeah. he said, into Islam, yeah. and into Islam. And he was talking about that, had, uh, that hadith or that uh, story about the Prophet. They said, the, I, I'm sure it was, if it's not the hadith, it's mm, like, uh, Sira, yes. Sira, yes. Sira yes. Rasulullah. Yes. So they said, this was uh, the Prophet himself, not the Prophet himself saying to the others. There was a, a Muslim man, he went to his neighbor who was Jewish, and he said, do you want to be Muslim? Why you not be Muslim? Yes. And the Jewish man said, no, I cannot be Muslim because he said he loved alcohol. Yeah. And the Muslim man said, no, 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 no. Don't worry, you can still be Muslim and drink alcohol. And he said, okay, then what should I do? And he said, just say after me, Muhammad be police and FBI upon him. FBI, open up! <laughs> police and FBI upon him, like yeah. my sister Atul. Shout yeah. out for her. Yeah. And says, so he said, Mahmoudouna, blah, 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 the Arabic word. And after that, he said, now you are Muslim. So now you have a new rule for yourself, for, for you. Because yeah. now you are Muslim. If you leave Islam, you will be Exited. a city. You cannot yes. go back. And if you drink alcohol, we will punish you. So they said, from that moment to that man, He'd never drink alcohol and he could not leave Islam because he could lose his life. But they said, that's the best. They said, the, the best. It's such a beautiful story. Beautiful a nice story. story. Nice story. This is the best And it's trick. a nice trick, yeah. Nice trick to do with anyone in the West. You know, anyone who's not Muslim. The Kafrin, tell that. That's the best. Just bring them in. And the Somalis, we have a saying, say, Ben al they always say, when you want to marry someone, you have to lie. You have to bring, lie. bring with the lies. Lie. So this is just like, um, just a story going back to Nicole and Mahmoud from 90 Day Fiance, yeah, 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 from Egypt. Yeah. 
this is also like a common thing that happens, you know, like North African men from like Muslim countries yeah. getting with Western women, yeah. you know, for all sorts of purposes like money or visa or whatever. Green card. And whatever. this is one of the things that Muhammad also said, like one of the reasons why you would get with a woman is because of her wealth. Yeah. yeah. And her status. Yeah. yeah. They see Western women, Western white women especially, as Beautiful. higher status, mm. you know, and also having more wealth. So you are allowed to marry or to, to get with or to lie to her yeah. as well or lie to get her. Yeah. Because of these things that Muhammad said. So mm -hmm. this Mahmoud and all these other men who are doing all this marriage scam or this lying scam, they're not particularly in the wrong in the eyes of their religion. But yeah. Of course, uh, us as Christians, but also anyone who sees this anywhere yeah. can see that it's morally incorrect. It's exactly. very disgusting and it's sad. I feel sorry for her yeah. that she cannot express herself freely to her husband. She's afraid to lose her marriage because if she loses her religion, she thinks she'll just lose her marriage. But poor girl, she doesn't even know that she might lose her Life. Her life, yep. but also she's having like a miserable life yeah, now, yeah. crying every day. She loves swimming. She cannot go to swimming because she, she cannot wear, wear the, the she has to wear the bikinis. Yeah. She cannot do whatever she want to do. She want to meet other friends. They, he's not allow it. Even she want to meet his friends or even male friends. And he said, no, no, this is not, not allowed. allowed. Yeah. But you know what is so hypocrite in, in Muslim countries? They, she, when they she met, a woman who was a yoga trainer yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and she was a muslim egyptian woman and she wasn't wearing the hijab no, she hijab. Called hijab. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hijab it's hijab yeah but yeah. this woman she didn't know because yeah, maybe that's pronounced. the way she left so she said the hijab she wasn't wearing and also she was wearing like a, her armor you can see yeah. everything like a comfortable and but nicole she have to wear something until here Yes, cover all her. But wow. even that wasn't good enough when she landed. As soon as she landed, you know, the problem started because yeah. when she got married to him, I imagine it was all very easy and quick and she fell in yeah. love and she was in this whirlwind. But as soon as she got married to him, that's when the problem started. The rules started. Yeah. Because as a woman in Islam, you are seen as a second class citizen, especially your husband. You are now under his rule, as in, he is like your owner, yes. yes. you know? Yeah. And he decides for you what yeah. you do and whatever. And the woman has to obey his rules. All the time. And his family were saying to her, were saying to him, that he has to uh, enforce the, the rules of Islam. Yeah. You're, he, they said, his uh, role as the husband is to teach her about Islam. Yes. Yes. Imagine a grown woman saying, older than him, I think. Yeah, yeah, older, yeah, yeah, yeah older, 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 yeah, she's older, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Even though he's obviously, he's been Muslim, but I mean like marriages where there's like two Muslims, like for example, you guys, yes. when you were married, yeah. you know, like you've been Muslim for long, both of you, a long time, and then your husband now, he has to enforce the rules on you. You yeah. can't decide for yourself no. what you think is right or wrong. Have, uh, you have a, a permission to lie for a woman when you're marrying, when you're tricking someone to Islam, when you are in the war, when you are an infidel they country, when you are this you and have, that. You're allowed. So many things you're allowed. But this poor woman, she was thinking, what is going on? Because she thought it's like the same, like a Christianity, you know? Yeah. Christianity's relationship with you and God. But here in Islam, the rules, and she was thinking, why Mahmoud is giving so many rules? He wasn't giving so many rules. She thought she that said, was for on his, her, her Allah. Really, yeah, That's yeah she really said, is it Mahmoud's rules or is it Islam rules? I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't even she know. She didn't have no. any idea. Yeah, poor, poor yeah, yeah. yeah, so, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like and yes. subscribe. Let us know what you guys think down below in the comments. Yes. And yeah, we thank you guys so much, especially thank you to our Patreon, our PayPal supporters, yes. our viewers. Without you, we could not do this. And if you want to support them more or of you want to involve, please follow join us. Yeah, follow the links and uh, you can support us through PayPal and Patreon. Yeah, that's what thank you can you do. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes. 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 We will say now the Muslims, please repent, repent, leave Islam and come to, come Christ. to Christ. This is the only way to heaven. To heaven. Yeah. Amen. 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 We love you so we much. You so God much. bless bye -bye. you. Bye bye.